You know, just over four months have come and gone since the Key Bridge collapsed. With the wreckage and the Dally cargo ship gone from the water, now state agencies have to get rid of what's left behind. So tomorrow in Dundalk, people will have a chance to find out about the project and speak their minds. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson has followed the story for us, and he joins us now with more on what we can expect. Yeah, Kelly, you have it right. Crews have to demolish the remaining parts of the bridge before building a new one. And tomorrow, the public will get a greater understanding of the task ahead. Tonight, I asked folks about March 26th and what they're looking forward to in the future. It was a shocker. It was almost kind of like, what's going on with 9-11, you know? The uncertainty of March 26th brought Monica a similar feeling to the September 11th attacks. In the time since, folks here noticed impacts on everything from traffic to the livelihoods of longshoremen to the Patapsco view itself. Folks in East Baltimore County anticipate a new bridge. So looking forward to it. Hopefully they build a lot stronger. On Thursday, folks will gather here at the North Point Baltimore County Public Library off Merritt Boulevard in Dundalk. In May, state agencies submitted a water quality certification request for a project to demolish what's left of the bridge. According to the document, quote, MDTA's Francis Scott Key Bridge demolition project will include demolition of the stable standing structures comprising the remaining portions of the bridge in preparation for bridge reconstruction. The project will include mechanical demolition and blasting of various bridge elements. The request says all impacts to surface waters will be temporary and that MDTA will limit those impacts to the greatest extent it can. Yeah, be advised, we're going to need... Uh, yeah, notify the Coast Guard. The whole bridge went down. The meeting comes the same yeah, week. We obtained Baltimore City police footage from that night. That's the key bridge. I mean, that's the key bridge, key bridge. Yeah, it is. Wow. We got a call, I mean, like, probably a minute, if that, before it hit it. The video shows the moments a construction worker, there wearing yellow and orange, was helped back to dry land and toward an ambulance. I guess a long fall. I mean, that guy looked like he was all right, but that's it's cold. He, he was shaking up pretty good. That's a long fall. Four months later, the process of moving forward carries on. According to a May document, the project will take approximately 10 months to complete. A separate public meeting on building a new bridge is scheduled for September. If you'd like to get out to it, the meeting starts with a poster session at 4.30 tomorrow at the library in Dundalk, followed by the beginning of the meeting at 5.30. The state will take your written comments until August 15th. Kelly.